Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. Today I'll just take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I prepared my brown steel fish. Now, I started to prepare this fish already, so I decided, listen, let me just show you guys how I do it over on my side, all right? Go ahead and follow me on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So I went ahead, as I said earlier, prepare my fish. I added some black pepper, some salt to both sides. This is my frying pan. I added some vegetable oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place my fish in there and I'm using sliced snapper fish. You can get this at your local supermarket or your meat shop. In Jamaica, I got this at Price Mart. All right, so you can go ahead and check them out or any other local supermarket. You can always go ahead and use kingfish, whatever sliced fish you guys have at home. This process took me about eight minutes to fry. So what I'm gonna do now, flip it over on the other side, but I decided to use my egg lifter because if I use my two my fork, sorry, it is gonna be broken up and I don't want that, all right? I also went ahead and cut up my seasoning, my onion, my bell pepper, my garlic, some tomatoes for my brown stew fish. So once I'm finished frying, we're gonna go over and start preparing the items. So now that I'm finished preparing all of that, the fish, it's brown and ready. I'm going to go in and add some onion, my garlic, to a small amount of vegetable oil. And this is the same oil that I use to fry my fish in. So we're basically just going to prepare the sauce for my fish. Alright? I will also go in and add my tomatoes and also my bell pepper. I love to leave this for roughly about a minute or two. Then I'll come back and add the rest of the ingredients. Also guys, please note that I also went ahead off camera and add just a small amount of water and also some tomato ketchup together to add to this. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some thyme. And of course, we're going to combine everything together. Guys, listen, this smells so good. Trust me, it smells, listen, the flavor. Mm. So now that this is all ready, I'm going to go in and add the tomato ketchup and the water that I combined together just a small amount of water and tomato ketchup all right I will also go in and add a small amount of browning just to give it that nice color you don't have to add the browning all right just but I, I will add just a small amount of it and I will also go in guys and add some black pepper and of course, some all-purpose seasoning. That's all we're using on our fish. Really easy and simple recipe. Listen, guys, try to use, utilize whatever you have at home, all right? You don't have to go out there and buy anything. Whatever you have, utilize it. And of course, I love to leave my sauce for roughly about three minutes on low heat before I add my fish. So after three minutes, it's time to go in and add my sliced brown fish. So I'm going to go in and add them one at a time. Of course, you know, you have to pour some of the sauce over it. And I will be serving this up with some rice and peas. Can't wait to show you guys the final product. So once I'm finished adding my fish and covering it in the sauce, I'm going to leave it for roughly about five minutes. Then I'll come back and show you guys the final product of my brown stew sliced fish. Stay tuned, guys. 
can't wait to show you the final product. All right, guys, so this is the final product of my brown stew sliced fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you guys try this recipe at home. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share. Remember to tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another awesome recipe. I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me tomorrow. Can't wait to see you guys.